So moving on to another simple affine transformation is resizing, also called scaling. And resizing, you may think it's actually quite simple. However, it involves something called interpolation. And interpolation is basically when we resize an image, imagine you're expanding points or pixels. So when you resize an image from big, from small to big, how do we find the gaps in between those little pixels? So that's what interpolation is. And I've just drawn this simple little diagram here to show you with GPS coordinates, because when you're doing GPS tracking, you actually interpolate points quite a bit. So imagine the red points are pixels, and these are the actual pixels here. Now, imagine previously before, these pixels were closer together, the red pixels. Ignore the yellow pixels and the green pixel for now. So we just have red pixels that are closer together. But now we've stretched them out, and we need to approximate the pixels in between. That's what interpolation is. Interpolation is the method you be used to actually put or generate these pixels here. So as you can see in a GPS type example, going up in a straight line north, putting a pixel here, it's a fairly good idea, fairly good idea. However, doing this linear, linear meaning straight line joining between pixels, we actually don't reflect that maybe the vehicle took a corner here. Instead, the vehicle drove maybe some stretches and buildings here in this dumb example. And that's a form of interpolation, which, which we call linear interp interpolation. So let's talk a bit about the types of interpolations here. There's inter-area, nearest, linear, cubic, and Lanzos four, apparently. So these are all methods, and I won't go into details here. There's actually a very good comparison on this link here. But generally, inter-area inter is good for shrinking or dong sampling images. That's actually another form of interpolation as well. Probably just it, what this does is it merges the, area, the pixels within the area. That's why it's good for dong sampling. inter is the fastest algorithm, according to this comparison here. Linear is good, as in this case, it's a linear interpolation here. It's typically good and it's the default method used in zooming. However, intercubic, which is probably what's going to generate this green point here, is definitely better. And Lanzos, or Lanzos, is actually the best. So you can check them out here. So let's actually implement this in some code now. So let's now implement some simple scaling or resizing in OpenCV. So OpenCV uses the cv2.resize function with the arguments listed up here. But let's actually use this function to get a feel of it. So firstly, we load our image. And then using the resize function, it takes our input image, none, which I'll discuss later on shortly, fx and fy. These are the factors we want to scale by. So what we're telling it here is that we want to scale our image by 3 quarters, so 3 quarters the original, original size. And the reason we set it at the same 0 0.75, 0 0.75 here is that we want to maintain our image ratios. So by default, I said it uses interlinear as its, as its interpolation method. We're actually going to try intercubic, interarea, and we're actually going to change the dimensions here we resize to. So this actually allows us to resize exactly the dimensions we want. So you'll understand that shortly when we actually implement this code. So let's run this code now. As you can see, this is the picture of the Louvre I took, and it's actually smaller than the original images by three quarter its size. This one is much bigger, so it's twice its size, and this is using the intercubic, which is actually a slower method of interpolation. However, the resizing looks decent quality as well. And this is the one that's queued, so we actually set the dimensions here. So let's bring this into this view here. So we actually set the width to be 900 and the height to be 400, as I previously showed in the code here. Well, similarly, we can actually skew in one dimension, or I should say re resize in differently in one dimension. So we implement something that looks like this here, which is sort of compressed horizontally here. OK, so that's it for resizing. It's actually a pretty basic function. So we'll now move on to some other topics in OpenCV.